Is your brain on overload trying to keep track of all the info and documents you handle? Maybe it's time to add a second brain. Wait a minute! No, we're not talking about a literal brain. We're actually talking about personal knowledge management, or PKM. PKM tools are like a digital extension of your mind that's built to help you capture, organize, and find information when you need it most. And two of the hottest PKM options right now are Obsidian and AnyType. Obsidian's been around for a while, but AnyType is newer on the scene. Sometimes, though, fresh talent can challenge the classics. So, which one's got what it takes to be your ultimate digital brain? Obsidian or AnyType? Let's dive deep into these digital knowledge management solutions. Obsidian is a dependable, markdown-based note-taking app that puts local storage first. It's built around the idea of a second brain, a space where you can efficiently store, link, and retrieve information. The app focuses heavily on privacy by keeping your notes stored locally, though it also offers syncing options if needed. It's perfect for anyone who values full control over their data and enjoys personalizing their note-taking experience. AnyType is an open-source, local-first note-taking app available across macOS, Windows, iOS, and Android, with a Chrome extension for easy clipping. Unlike traditional note-taking tools, AnyType treats each note as an object, which gives you a more structured way to capture information, be it about a meeting, person, or book. With end-to-end -end encryption and a focus on privacy, AnyType is great for users who want both security and flexibility. Looking at Obsidian's interface, you'll notice multiple components that define its functionality. The main window is surrounded by customizable sidebars, each containing specific tools and features. The dual mode system is a core element. Edit mode provides a clean writing space with markdown support, while preview mode renders your formatted text in real time. To enhance efficiency, users can implement a split screen view by holding command and clicking the preview icon. This creates two parallel panes, eliminating the need for constant mode switching. Any type as an alternative takes a different approach by integrating task management, note organization, and database capabilities into one cohesive system. Its structure supports various use cases, particularly those that combine note-taking with extensive research work. Now let's understand how both work. AnyType is built on an object-oriented framework, which means it gives you a ton of flexibility to customize and personalize your workspace. With various objects and relationships at your disposal, it lets you create a seamless and interconnected digital environment. Whether you're organizing notes, managing tasks, or handling projects, AnyType molds itself to your workflow for a smooth, integrated experience. On the other hand, Obsidian focuses on Markdown, a straightforward and flexible text format that makes note-taking feel intuitive. It also packs features like backlinking, a graph view, and customizable plugins, so you can easily visualize the links between your notes and expand the app's capabilities to match your needs. So it's time to break their features down individually. AnyType's block-based editor makes it easier than ever to organize and manipulate content. Think of object-based notes as ready-made forms for different things you want to remember. Instead of starting from scratch each time, these notes come with all the right spaces already set up. When you want to write about a book, you get a form with spaces for the writer's name, the book's special number, and what kind of book it is. If you're taking notes about a meeting, you get spaces to write down who was there, when it happened, and what everyone talked about. For keeping track of people you meet, you can write down where you first saw them and when you last talked to them. Apps like AnyType and Capacities make this super easy to do. Obsidian, on the other hand, doesn't lock your data in a proprietary format. Instead, it uses plain text files that are universally accessible, which ensures that you have full ownership of your information. The app allows you to link different notes together, creating a web of knowledge that you can navigate and expand as needed. This makes Obsidian a powerful tool for building a personalized, adaptable knowledge base. And knowing that your data is stored in a format that's entirely under your control provides a level of security and peace of mind that's hard to beat. Obsidian's bi-directional links are a powerful way to connect your notes that allows you to move fluidly back and forth between them. When you link note A to note B, you can easily navigate from A to B and from B back to A 
creating a rich web of interrelated ideas. They can form a network as opposed to a simple linear or hierarchical structure. This reflects how our brains work by naturally connecting ideas in a more fluid, organic way. Bidirectional links help you see patterns and relationships between information that you might not have spotted otherwise. They're especially useful in complex projects where pieces of information are intertwined. Speaking of any type, many users find that views like calendar, graph, and gallery allow them to interact with their notes in new and visually engaging ways. See the way your notes connect with graph view in any type and the abilities like flow that allow you to see the relationship and knock-on effect of the notes in your workspaces. The knowledge graph of Obsidian is like a visual map of all your notes and how they connect with each other. It shows your notes as nodes, with lines linking them to illustrate their relationships. What makes this graph so powerful is how it lets you take in the big picture of your ideas. Instead of going through each note one by one, you can see the web of connections between them in one place. This helps you quickly identify patterns or spots where your knowledge might be lacking. The canvas in Obsidian goes beyond a simple blank page. It's a dynamic space where you can edit, organize, and visualize your notes. You can move your notes around, group them in clusters, and easily understand how they relate to each other. It's not just about making things look pretty. It's a tool designed to help you process and remember information more effectively. One of the best things about Obsidian is the ability to add plugins that really enhance how it works. You can add everything from little visual changes to your notes to more advanced functions, like setting up automatic backups. The cool thing about plugins is that they let you completely customize the app. It's all about customizing Obsidian to suit your specific needs, so it becomes your own personal note-taking system. AnyType also has some cool features that you won't find on Obsidian. Their templates work like ready-made frameworks for your notes, which gives you preset structures so you don't have to start from scratch every time. They help you stay organized and efficient, speeding up your workflow, time management, and overall productivity. Imagine always having an outline for meetings, project plans, or even journal entries just waiting for you to fill it in. If you're someone who takes notes on books, templates can be a real help. You can design a template with sections for key points, quotes, your thoughts, and more. Then, every time you pick up a new book, all those fields are right there, a huge time saver. AnyType's widgets are customizable blocks in your AnyType sidebar that give you quick access to the information you use most. They're like personalized shortcuts that save you time and keep you organized. Set up widgets for your most important notes, to-dos, or even a calendar. Instead of hunting for your files or opening different pages, widgets put everything right at your fingertips. If you're a writer working on a big project, you can create a widget for all your research, another for character sketches, and one for your current to-do list. That way, everything you need is always just a glance away. So, which one is the best? Well, there's no straightforward answer. It all depends on preferences. The best you can do is try both for a week, get in-depth experience, and see which one suits your demands the most. Whatever turns the table, go with it and be productive. Thanks for watching. Like, share, and subscribe to get more videos like this.